Hello Libra, it's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 7th through August 13th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oceanic Tarot Cards by Jane Wallace. Sorry guys, I gotta fix this camera. Alright, just a little bit. Alright. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. I wanted to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. Oh, yeah. Um, I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message for everybody that's new. All right. So, let's go. What's going on for Libra, Libra, Libra? What's going on for Libra for the week of August 7th through August 13th, 2017? Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, so somebody is like holding off possible good things to come or fate. Somebody is holding fate back. Like something is supposed to happen and... It's for the better, but somebody is holding it off, fighting for it to be around. Okay, so this might be like a love situation. Somebody, not even love, somebody is just extremely attracted to a someone. And I feel like they don't want it to end. Or they don't want to realize something that's going on with them, okay? Ooh, okay, so... They don't want to realize that the person that they're dealing with is a liar. They know that <laughs> I feel like you've been catching this person in a lie or vice versa. It could be the way general reading. But it's like you don't say anything because you don't want this person to leave. But this future fate, I mean, just nip it in the butt. Do it now because the longer you wait, the more attachments you get to this person. Like you might mess around and get pregnant or get them pregnant. And then next thing you know, you stuck with them forever with a lying baby. You know, we, we learn from our parents. You got to think about it. your kids learn from you. All right. So. Yeah. Okay. In some cases, this. That's a whole lot of using going on right now. In some cases, um, I feel like you may be getting the gifts. But, like I said, general. You getting the gifts, you that's why you're sticking around. That's what it seems like to me. Or this person is sticking around you. So, it's a person who wants gifts and it's a liar. You know? So, either you're the liar or you're the person who uh, is sticking around to get presents and stuff. You know? Alright, so whatever this situation is, it's a long distance situation. And I feel like you've tried to reach this person mentally with the lion in the beginning. They flipped out and you decide to just leave it alone. Like, alright, just keep giving me what you're giving me. And go about your business, okay? Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay. Okay. So, seems like you made some kind of sacrifice. Let's see what this, what is this sacrifice? What is this sacrifice for the Libra? August 7th, ooh, 7th through 13th. Mm. So, it seems like you left somebody for this person, them. You was believing they lies, and then now you figure out that this person is a liar. And they have stepping, but you still like the gifts is still more than what you had there fit, uh, materialistically. But you left somebody to really care about you for somebody who um, is a liar that gives gifts. Okay, bottom of the card is there. They taking you into a dark place. Yeah, you you starting to trying to trick yourself into believing they lies just so you can. Ooh, sorry guys, just so you can stick around. All right, so. What's going on for Libra, Libra, Libra? What's going on for Libra? August 7th through August 13th, 2017. What's going on for Libra? August 7th through August 13th, 2017. Mm -mm. 
I don't want to speak too soon, but it's like I don't see a third party situation yet. But it's still like this person just lies. That's probably why they don't have a go third party because some they, people just can't deal with liars all the time. Hangman, so you're not waiting for something anymore. Mm. All right, that, this look like a whole different situation, but it seemed like, or maybe this person just came back around, but it looked like somebody hurt your feelings in the past and you're starting to get over it. You know, you're like, I'm not about to waste my time with this stuff, but I'm going to read these straight out the book. Like I said in my first video, I mean, um, at the beginning. Beginning. All right. Okay, let's get this. So, first we have the hangman. Hangman. No. All right, sorry. Hangman reverse. Uh, irresponsibility, low self esteem, and impatient. Okay, yeah, this sounds like um, the liar. Okay. Let me see. I mean, I think this is both parts. That, I mean, especially since it's the uh, first card. I think, uh, yeah, this could be in both places. This could be the for the liar and the, um, I mean, the gift taker. All right, so now we have the Five of Cups reversed. Wow, it just says utter shame. Uh, it, The overall part of the card says, a card of decision and consequence, moving away from people in an environment, letting go. So it's basically saying it's a, this is just a effed up situation and you need to just let go of it. Okay? All right, so page of staff. Page of staff. Where are those staffs? All right. Page of staffs reverse. Tunnel vision. Seek after material. <laughs> Workaholic. Sometimes sarcastic. So, that's what's going on. Uh, seeking after materials. That's, that's getting you where you are. You know, you're stuck with a liar. And you're going to be stuck with a liar until you... Let go of the wanting of the materialistic things. You know, I know it's nice to have nice things, but you got to realize ain't nothing free. And that's definitely like, like not free. Like you hang around a person so long, you start doing the stuff that they doing, you know. You drive yourself crazy like that. All right. So I don't know. This makes me feel like you might end up leaving them or this person. I don't know, but let's read it. It says, loss of wealth and position as a result of excessive vanity. I don't know. This makes me feel like something happened at the job. Maybe somebody came up there. Or maybe this person telling you, you belong to them and you can't work. So you got to stop. And even though this person gives you things, they are not the truthful person. So it's like, I don't know. You can't really trust that kind of person. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Uh, make sure, okay, other than that, have a, geez, my ears just like plug crazy for no reason. But um, have a nice week. <laughs>